Now we're moving into the posterior leg, and first muscle we're going to look at is the gastrocnemius. To review its origin and insertion, it comes off the medial and lateral posterior condyles of the femur, and it's going to run all the way down the leg here into the Achilles tendon attaching to the calcaneus right down here. And point your toes for me. So we can get a really nice outline of this muscle here. So right here, this is gonna all be the medial head of the gastroc, and then here's gonna be the lateral. You can really, relax for me, you can really lift this muscle up and pull it away. It's very superficial and it has a lot of muscles lying deep to it, namely the soleus, which is also involved in plantar flexion at the ankle. So point your toes again, which is one of the main actions for the gastrocnemius. Because it also crosses the knee joint, it does do a little bit of knee flexion. The muscle test for this, relax your foot for me, is if I come up, now this is a big strong muscle group, trying to just do it like this is not going to be a very powerful position. He can overpower me all, all day like that. What I'm going to want to do is hook my elbow into my hip, support across his ankle, and then just slowly lean my body weight in and then he's going to slowly rebound back. This is a good position for me to be in and I can palpate this muscle and see all the contractile fibers just like that and then slowly come off. Um, tendinosis or ten tendinopathies are going to affect the tendon down in this region here, so it's always a good idea to palpate here, check bilaterally, and just see if there's any thickening, inflammation, or irritation going on. But again, you're going to want to do a full workup of the ankle, the tendon, as well as all of the muscle to see if, uh, to, you know, to find out where the problem is. We're going to take you guys through a better check of the functional kinetic chain for the gastroc and soleus in a standing position here. So what we'll do is have the patient rise up on his toes, and then we can see a good contraction bilaterally of the gastroc, as well as the soleus coming down here. This will be a little bit easier than doing a manual muscle test on a table, and you can come back down for me. And now if that checks out and you want to isolate one side versus the other, we can just have him lift a foot off the ground, whatever one he wants, and then rise up on the toes of his right side, and again, Notice the contraction. It's good here. He's doing a little bit of stabilization on the wall. If someone has poor balance or pathology, they may need to stabilize themselves, come back down. And now we'll do just this side. And again, from here it's good. I can visualize as well as palpate. Now I have good contraction of these muscles. I can't generate this amount of force with a muscle test, but he certainly can standing on two feet or one foot. The final test you can do is if the, uh, the bilateral and unilateral toe raise checks out, what we can do is come right up and go into a jumping position. From here, you can just hop a few times on your toes, just like you're skipping. So again, this is gonna put a lot more force through that posterior compartment of the leg and do one final check on the gastroc and soleus as well as the uh, Achilles tendon. And if we wanna check one, uh, one step further, we can go into one-footed hops or one-footed skips where he jumps off the ground and lands. So a couple of things as we're uh, looking at this. So thank you very much for doing this. So the first thing is you're doing your postural evaluation. You look from the posterior side and you look at this. This is a beautiful well-formed calf that we see on this side right here coming all the way down to the Achilles tendon and the calcaneus. Fantastic. Does anybody notice the difference between the other, this side and the other side? Okay, I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first Part question is, how was just born like this? Yeah. yeah, so this is a congenital variation. She was born without a right gastro gastrocnemia. So if we can, I'll have you go ahead and plant our flex up for us. So there we go, perfect. And here you can see the outline of the head, of the medial head, there's the lateral head. Where is it on this side? Mm. Okay. Even her soleus, I guarantee on this side is going to be a little bit smaller. For sure, that's going to be an outline of soleus right there. Coming around mm -hmm. to the medial side, usually soleus is a little bit larger than this coming in, so slightly decreased in size. This is not a surgical scar right here. This is just the way that her Achilles tendon comes in and feeds into that soleus muscle where it's missing some more of the fibers over here on this side right there. And then go ahead and come back down. So what do you, how have you noticed this has changed your function? Uh, definitely decreased range of motion. So decreased um, range of motion? Because of the tendon that just, just yeah. gets really tight because it just goes all the way yeah. down. Yeah, and let's actually get you to squat down just a little bit for us if we can. So I just want to see you squat down. So okay, you can see this ankle, good dorsiflexion. What is she doing there? Already she's lifting up right there. Can you come down a little bit lower for us? A little, boom. And you can see that ankle lifts off mm -hmm. way before this ankle lifts off right there. So excellent to see that variation. What else have you noticed, Melissa, when you do this? Uh, it just feels really tight. Yeah, it just feels tight. A lot it's of comfort. fibrous, yeah, fibrous yeah. tissue in there as well. And then the other thing, especially, not so much now, but I mean, definitely you would probably notice it when you were in high school and stuff. You'd have a tendency maybe not to want to show the leg as much or anything. I never wear shorts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this would definitely change activities of daily living for, for a lot of people if you see this. It's not very common at all. I do have a sample cadaver dissection video that shows this as well where you can see it. But uh, super cool for us to see that.
What do I see here? This is all gastrocnemius. Look at the thickness of that muscle, right? That's a thick, powerful muscle right there. If you peel back gastrocnemius, that's where we see soleus running deep to it, all right? Soleus really is what pushes out your gastrocnemius to give you some muscle mass. And if I turn it around, you can see the bipinnate shape of the soleus as it runs together from the different fiber directions, all right? So remembering, of course, gastrocnemius crosses the knee, soleus maintains its position not crossing the knee on the posterior tibia. And super neat to see this extra head of gastrocnemius running through the midline right here. Would I be able to see that clinically on a patient? Probably wouldn't be able to observe it, but we do see it here on this dissection, so very interesting for you guys to see that.